In this demo, we are going to look at uh, the intelligent software and how it applies to a large corporation uh, with uh, six plants uh, distributed across North America and Europe. So, uh, to start this uh, demo, we'll impersonate the VP of Operation, Jack, and see how Jack is using the intelligent software in his environment. So, Jack, on a daily basis, um, uses his iPad to monitor the different KPIs, uh, key performance indicators for each of the plants. There are four KPIs that uh, he is uh, mainly interested in that are aligned with the corporate objective. The contribution, so the dollar amount, energy intensity, OE, and schedule attainment. Jack with his um, dashboard on his iPad can look at these, uh, these various metrics and uh, have an idea of how well each of the plants are performing with respect to each other and how well they are deviating from the target for each of this me these metrics. In addition, on the right-hand side, he has spark lines, which are basically trend indicators showing how the metrics have evolved over time, over the past uh, days. So with that information, Jack monitors each of the sites and uh, in a particular morning he looks at the contribution which is uh, doing fairly well uh, almost everywhere. Energy intensity uh, which is a mixed uh, mix here but no big, uh, big issue. Uh, and OE. OE is doing relatively bad uh, in most of the plant. OE being the overall equipment effectiveness. So um, Jack wants to drill down on one of the uh, sites and to have more information on what is happening. So he can click on one of the dots, the Atlanta plant in this case, and go to the site dashboard and see uh, directly from the site data what is going wrong. So performance, uh, quality uh, are the two main areas w that are going bad and they are very easily identified by the red color. Red is uh, only used on this dashboard to signify bad behavior. So with that information, uh, Jack uh, having to monitor the other plants also sends an email basically by copying this uh, email link which is uh, this uh, dashboard information and emails this to Sudupta who is the plant manager for the Atlanta plant. So now if we go into the shoes of uh, Sudupta, a plant manager again for this uh, Atlanta plant, he receives the email and opens up this uh, exact same dashboard and looks at the information. Um, now Jack needs to go to the production meeting and the idea is to uh, actually look at this dashboard within the production meeting straight uh, so that uh, everybody sees the same information and get answers. The advantage of uh, this, um, this software instead of uh, printing reports is that the whole team in the production meeting can actually drill down on information and find out the areas of problems and have answers readily within the meeting instead of uh, assigning tasks to each of the users and waiting for answers afterwards, which you typically get by printing reports. You get some answers, but if you need more information, you need more analysis. This tool provides not only the reporting, but also some level of analysis. So within the production uh, meeting, Sudukta looks at uh, the quality and wants to drill down and know more about it. So he can click on the quality link and actually drill down to the quality dashboard, which will give the whole team information about what is uh, happening. So we have the quality by shift, uh, then the quality by equipment and by product. And then we can see by for each of the shifts what is the production trend uh, by product and by equipment. So general information related to quality. Now looking at this, we, we see that the forming machine in particular has an OE uh, quality of 93%. 
The printing machine is at 99, which is good. And the stamping machine is at 92. So something is going wrong in terms of quality for uh, the forming and the stamping machine. So one of the options is to actually drill down on the alarms to see if something is going wrong in this area. So looking at uh, the alarm, we have the overall alarm count for, for the plan, but we also have the duration of the alarm by equipment, the average duration, and the count of alarm by equipment. And here we see that the a stamping machine and the forming machine are exceeding the average uh, count there. So there's way more alarms than uh, we could normally expect around that. So uh, by clicking on the um, alarm bar, we get even, even more information about the, um, the alarm's description. So we see that it is mostly the low air pressure that is causing this um, um, count to be higher. And same for the forming machine. When we click on this, we get the description of the alarms for the forming machine, and we see that it, the low air pressure is also the same um, uh, largest alarm count. So with that information in hand, they ask the maintenance engineer to take a look at the equipment and understand why the lower pressure is uh, that often high and uh, resolve the problem. So uh, back to the uh, production meeting, we look at the uh, performance now and drilling down on performance we will see um, more detailed information for performance and uh, some of the reasons. So we get the performance by shift, performance by equipment, product, and a trend for uh, performance by product and by equipment divided for each of the shifts. So this information is good. Uh, we see right away that the shift performance is uh, below what it should be. Uh, for, but it's even worse during the weekend shift. So there's more analysis to be done on that side. So uh, Sudupta in the production meeting asked Omar, the process engineer, to uh, try to understand a little more why performance is uh, doing that bad. And typically this is an operation that would have uh, taken hours if not days to analyze the, inform the information and find out why things are going wrong. But with the intelligent software and the analytics client, Omar can do a, analyze the data by selecting the performance analysis data source there and perform some analysis right away with this uh, user-friendly tool that uh, he can slice and dice the data that is available. So his first suspicion is about the run rates that might not be as good as uh, they should be uh, because we're talking performance here. So he wants to have a chart of run rate with versus standard production rate and see how well it's doing. And to do that, he just select the two variables and ask for a bullet graph, which is uh, the equivalent of a gauge but a linear gauge, which takes a lot less space on the screen and provides the same type of information though. So clicking OK, we get a gauge and uh, this is the average run rate for all equipment, all shift, all product, all um, uh, blended together. So it's more or less useful, but if we put the shift information, just by clicking on the shift, now we see by shift how well the shifts are comparing with each other. The vertical line indicates the um, uh, target and the blue line indicates the actual. And if we want to add some color to this to identify how well things are doing, this is becoming much more visual and we can see again that the weekend days are actually performing a lot worse, which was already known, but now we know the reason the run rate is much lower than the standard production rate. And uh, with that information in hand, Omar goes and sees the uh, shift supervisor for the weekend shifts 
and ask them the reason for that, uh, which basically comes down to uh, lack of uh, training in that case uh, because they didn't know the uh, right level of uh, operation for that uh, equipment. So Omar identified the issue there and uh, solved the issue in a matter of minutes, which proved to be way more effective than uh, doing analysis in Excel like he used to do before. So in this demo, we uh, saw from the start from the VP of operation that had a high level view of the different KPIs, the key performance indicators for the enterprise, and then drill down to Jack, uh, to Sedupta, sorry, the plant manager, uh, looking at the overall equipment effectiveness, which was one of the metrics doing bad for that period of time, and drilling down on information further and further uh, to get the actual root cause of the issues. And all that information was assembled by the intelligence software, taking data from various data sources and exposing it into a common environment, into a set of dashboards or screen reports and this analysis uh, software. Thank you.